And now from the Freedom First Sports Desk, it's First and Ten with John Apicello. Sponsored by... Welcome to week 10 of the big show. It's Halloween weekend, so we are channeling all those scary movies, those Halloween movies. Let's start with darn kids. They do this all the time. Wow. Jeff Williamson does the web all the time, and he does a great job. Check out our website for all things high school football, which brings us to the rumble in Rocky Mount. Sometimes it takes a while for things to develop, like a good scary movie plot or a good football team. That's the case this week with the Blue Ridge District leaders squaring off. Eric Johnson was in Rocky Mount as both Lord Botetot and Franklin County started out slowly this season, but they are both coming on like gangbusters. Eric. That's exactly right, Appy. We told you earlier how both of these teams have really gone through growing pains since the start of the season. For LB, they told me it's something that they needed to humble themselves since the past few years has been filled with so much winning. Since then, accountability has been the key, and it was again tonight in Rocky Mount. Here we go to the highlights. Franklin County pumped up for this one. So were the Cavaliers. In fact, they were striking early and often. First offensive possession. It's a handoff to Andrew Gilbert. 15-yard rumble to the jungle for a 7-0 lead. After converting a 4th and 10, Eli Fouts of Franklin County hits Nasir Holland. 23-yard catch and run is good for 6. PAT block. So it's a one-point game. Then LB put on FedEx uniforms and did some ground shipping. Jakari nicely nicely rattling off back-to-back -back touchdown runs for the Cavs. First a 25-yard scamper. Then look at this 57-yard ramble to the promised land. 21-6 lead. Eagles able to burst through before halftime. Jalen Lee, you can't see me. Look at him go here. 80-yard house call. They trail 35-13 to at halftime. Different story in the second half. Franklin County put up 15 unanswered points. In fact, after big stops on defense, Lee finding the zone yet again. It's a 35-28 game. However, K.J. Bratton had quite the night. Three touchdowns, two of them in the fourth. Signed, sealed, delivered, and the Cavaliers are your winners. 49-28. You know, there's some things that we got to get out of our system. Getting a little bit better at uh, getting a little bit better at being disciplined, not having so many penalties. We still got them, but man, there's just there's a ton of improvement we still got to make before we get where we need to be. But we're getting there. I mean, it's Thunder and Lightning. It's a one-two punch every game. You don't know what you're going to get. We got Gunner Givens at a tight end. You don't know if he's going to get the ball. You don't know if I'm going to get the ball. Jakari, Bryce, and our line block's great. So, you know, it's just a good team win. Biggest story coming out of this one, steady improvement, as Coach Harless mentioned there. Wasn't necessarily pretty all night long. However, Cavaliers did get the job done. And, of course, a shout-out to Franklin County, a valiant comeback effort that they put on display tonight. Happy. All right, thanks, Eric. Continuing with the Blue Ridge District, Northside hosting William Byrd and the Vikings still in the playoff bracket entering play tonight, looking to help their playoff seed and chances. And here we go, third quarter. Northside's up 21-0. William Byrd's Lane Shoemaker is picked off by Landon Saul right here. Nice play on defense. Couple of plays later, we've seen this combination before. Sid Webb to Cameron Abshire and this young man has skills. He is a weapon. 77 yards for the touchdown. It was 27-0. Later in the third, Northside's quarterback, Sid Webb, after the push-ups, of course, uh, would throw, and he's picked off by Bird's Braden Andrews. But the Vikings just too much tonight, 27 to nothing. your final over William Bird. The Golden Eagles holding the eighth and final 3D playoff spot as we enter playoff, as we enter action tonight. But William Fleming blanks them 42 to nothing in your other Blue Ridge score. To the River Ridge, and Salem remains the team to topple, having handled Christiansburg. Tonight, Hidden Valley was in, but before we start, the Salem community honors a Titan senior loss to a car crash Sunday night. That was Gavin Dent. So, a moment of silence during the band, and our thoughts and prayers here at Channel 10 go out to everyone in the Titan community. The story of this game happened to be the Salem defense. Salem's up 7 to nothing. Quarterback Sam Dragovich here going right, picked off by Carson Williams. That set up a Salem touchdown drive. Next, Hidden Valley possession, first quarter. Dragovich throws. He's picked off again by Cha Chauncey Logan Jr. He's going to take it back to make it 21-0. Next, Hidden Valley possession. Are you sensing 
a theme here. Braxton Dunnings uh, for the long pass picked off again at the goal line, though, a few plays later. And then it's Cam Leftwich up the middle for 30 yards. 28-0 Salem on their way to a 42-14 win. What about Pulaski County at PH tonight? The Cougars 4-4 four and four coming in. PH, of course, eyeing a big-time playoff spot. Here we go. First quarter, Chuck Webb picking a lane, zipping through it, 20-0. Patriots, Pulaski trying to put together a drive. Keontae Kennedy picking his way for a first down. But Coach Dixon's gang struggling on offense in this one. Certainly in the first half, PH was not. Joey Beasley going up top. And look at John Zay Kimbrough. Great catch back of the end zone. Both feet in. That's a touchdown. And later, Johnny Anderson would be looking deep. And Tayshawn Webb would have the pick and the return. 42-13. PH is victorious. The Blue Demons currently the top seed in 3D at 7-1. Lone loss is Class 4 Salem. They handle Cave Spring 30-14. To, to the always rough and tumble Seminole District class, currently the 4 seed in 4D right behind the aforementioned Salem. But first things first, a big district bout with Brookville. So let's get you out for a look at Trick or Treat. Oh, smell defeat. Well, we'll see. First quarter, second and ten for the Hilltoppers. Markavius Graves on the carry, fighting his way through the defense. 24-yard touchdown, 7-0. Second quarter, Hilltoppers. Ball on second and 12. George White to Quaterius Foster, 38-yard touchdown. Class up 14-0. A couple of minutes later, Hilltoppers with the possession again. Third and 15, White to Eli Wood, hauling it in right there. They extend the lead to 21-0 on their way to a 42 7 win. The Red Devils with the 8th and final spot in 3C coming in. They certainly helped their chances with a 34-21 win over JF. Heritage, the Pioneers, the 2 seed, only behind LCA. 55-7 over Liberty. Speaking of LCA, 42-7 over Amherst County tonight. And a Dogwood score for you. Out to Vista over Nelson. 36 to 6. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everybody's entitled to one good scare. At Glenver, did the Bobcats deliver the scare to the Highlanders tonight? At the field, nicknamed the Hole, did GW Danville survive with Piedmont Pride? And later, would the Fighting Blues keep the treats coming for their fans? Plus, this. Where are the Glenver Highlanders? And you're watching first. We're back with a closer look at the Three Rivers and James River, currently residing in fourth place in the 2C bracket with a date at Carroll County tonight. Very important game for them. Yeah, this game was a thriller. James River punting. It was muffed. We've got a scramble drill going on, and eventually Cody Reese and Bronson Richardson take them down at the one. So the Cavs are in business. Josh Dalton, the handoff. Is he in? Keep pushing. Is he in? Is he in? He's in. 7-0 Cavs early. Coach loves it. There's the signal. Here we go. It's James River going back to work. Zeal Hammonds to Ben Bailey. Ben Bailey, one move, two move. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya anytime soon. The wheels are rolling. 55 yards to the house at 7-all. Cavs trying to answer back. Elijah Cox going deep. Tanner Dillon there to pick it off. Nice play, five right there. Little juggle drill, but he got it in. Uh, he held on. So does James River. 16-13. Your final. Allegheny and Floyd. That game was postponed till Monday at 6 p.m., Mountain Empire scores for you, including uh, George Wythe over Grayson County. Bland, I should tell you, uh, they have called a halt to their season, so that one will go down as canceled. And the leader of that district, Galax 27-7, as they go out of state to West Oaks, North Carolina, and get a victory, and in a good one, five overtimes. 34-28, Penn State, Illinois have nothing on Taswell, Fort Chiswell. 34-28, your final. Now to the district leader, Glenver, taking on Radford. These two teams, perfect in the district coming in. The one and three seeds in the region, and that's exactly what we got. Quality football tonight after the snap. Watch Marcel Baylor. 
He's going to keep it. He'll find a path. And look at him book 80-plus yards for the Bobcat touchdown. But hang on for the end of this one, folks. Second quarter. Glenver down 14, nothing. Snap and a play fake. Aiden Walk, Dagan Williams in the end zone. Great catch right there. And the touchdown. Fourth quarter. Radford's down now 17 14. Snap to Baylor. He's going to decide to run it. He's dodging tacklers. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. Left, right, taking it 50 yards to the end zone. 21 17 Radford. Four seconds left. We got a freshman backup quarterback in the game, Eli Taylor, going to Williams. As time expires, he makes the catch over defender. And it's Glenver. 23 21 as time expires. I told our team on the sideline before the last play, said, proud of you guys. It was a fun game. Don't worry about it. And it was. It was just fun to be a part of. Fun? I guess it depends on how you're feeling after that one. Now to the Piedmont and the top seed in the region 4D before play tonight, GW Danville. At rival Magna Vista, the Warriors currently in the 3D playoff mix. Keep that in mind as we take you to the hole. Here we go. Tough place to play. Tough for visitors. Scoreless first quarter. Warriors first play. Ryan Martin finding Justin Preston. 44-yard connection. 7-0 Warriors in this one. Next play. Eagles have an answer. Jacoby Dixon. Look at him spinning. Rivet. Pivot, spin, and the showtime win right here. He'd finish this drive with a seven-yard touchdown. It was 7-7. Eagles defense coming here. It's trick-or-treat, right? Donovan Howard. There's the interception. And a nice return. Good athletic play back there in the defensive backfield. Next play, Jacoby Dixon delivers the treat. 52 yards, 14-7 G-Dub on their way to a 28 to 10 win. More Piedmont Spores. Bengals go to 7 and 2. 61 14. Tunstall over Gretna 41 22. The Hawks were in the 2C playoff mix as the 7 coming in. We will keep you posted on those. And of course, we'll have all those playoff uh, brackets and implications after week 11. That said, Harrisonburg edges Rockbridge County 32 to 31. Patrick County and Martinsville will play on Monday. You fooled them, haven't you, Michael? But not me. We'll see what the Rockets and the Green Wave unveiled tonight in, in Newcastle when we come back. Coach Bob Price and the Celtics hosting the Barons of Blue Ridge School. The Barons threatening early. Camden Brewer faking the handoff. He's going to roll and stroll and find Fort Cardin, the catch, the convert for the touchdown. 6 nothing, an early lead for the Barons. The Celtics D trying to tighten up. Watch in the middle. Michael Pyle and Ethan Leonard. It's Pyle with the hit and Leonard cleaning it up right there. For the nice stop, but moments later, watch Brewer find Elijah Taylor on the pretty slant. This one goes 61 yards, and Blue Ridge is a 32-6 to winner. Tonight, taking a closer look at the Pioneer District, and Narrows, you know, dominated in recent years. Sure. They've been up and down this season because they had a ton of injuries, all due respect. It's right. tough at smaller schools when it you is. get a lot of injuries. It They've is. had that. That said... The fighting blues have taken control. They of this. have. They've just been sitting back, mm -hmm. sneakily rattled off five straight wins heading into tonight. Of course, they had Bath County to deal with on a senior night down in Buena Vista. Let's get you out for a look at this one. The Blues quarterback, Brennan Schley, early handoff to John Schneider, goes up the middle, falls in the end zone for the 16 yard touchdown, 6 0 lead. Perry McClure showing some defense also. Hunter Waldeck from his own 30 yard line passes the ball, pick off by senior Jalen Mitchell returns it for a touchdown 14 nothing after the pick six Blues at it yet again Schley is going to drop back and throws this 48 yard pass to Jalen Mitchell that's the second senior moment of the night wow, for him and a 21 nothing lead Perry McClure's Jacob Brantley also a senior get this scores a two yard touchdown the first of the year for that young man as the Blues go on to a 49-0 win with a late Evan Cook touchdown to top this off. They played hard. I'm real proud of them. Real pleased with they, a lot of kids could have folded up at 0-3 uh, and they didn't choose to do that. They choose to, to come back and go to work and got themselves better and the reward has been six wins in a row here. 
All right, let's get to the green wave, the Narrows green wave at Craig County tonight. Third down in the first quarter, Aiden McLaughlin short pass to Carson Krieger. Look at him hook and book 72 yards, weaving his way through the defense for the touchdown. It's an early 6-0 lead. Narrows faced with a fourth and goal. Craig County defense is going to step up in a big way. Alex Drake is going to find the Ooh. quarterback. Gets the sack yeah. on that play there. Yeah. Third quarter narrows a fourth and five. Again, it's McLaughlin to Krigger. He fumbles this in the end zone, but recovered by Jared Freeman okay. as narrows goes on to a 38 to six victory. Other scores tonight. Look at this. Eastmont 25 22 over Covington, setting up for quite the showdown next week. And in the Hogahigi, PH Glade Spring, a winner <laughs> over Joe Howie. Holston, a winner over Rural Retreat. Happy?